Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. In his epistle, how does James describe himself? The one Jesus loved. A Hebrew of Hebrews. A prisoner of Jesus Christ. A servant of God. The answer is A servant of God. James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes scattered among the nations. Greetings. Question 2. How did Jesus heal Simon's mother-in-law? He took her hand and helped her up. He touched her forehead. He prayed over her. He allowed her to touch the hem of his cloak. The answer is, He took her hand and helped her up. Mark chapter 1, verse 31 As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. Question 3. Which of the following disciples did Jesus not take with him to his transfiguration? Peter James John Andrew. The answer is Andrew. Mark chapter 9, verse 2. After six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and led them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There he was transfigured before them. Question 4. What happened to Herod's guards, who had been assigned to guard Peter? They died when they saw the angel. Herod had them executed. They ran away. They all became believers. The answer is... Herod had them executed. Acts chapter 12, verses 18 to 19. In the morning, there was no small commotion among the soldiers as to what had become of Peter. After Herod had a thorough search made for him and did not find him, he cross-examined the guards and ordered that they be executed. Question 5. Paul was also known by this name in Scripture. Bar-Jesus Tarsus Saul Peter The answer is Saul Acts chapter 13, verse 9 But Elimus the sorcerer for that is what his name means, opposed them and tried to turn the proconsul from the faith. Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elimus and said, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. Question 6. Paul wrote to Philemon concerning what individual? Titus. Timothy. 
Onesimus, Archippus, The answer is Onesimus, Philemon chapter 1. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy our brother, to Philemon our dear friend and fellow worker, also to Aphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church that meets in your home, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Question 7. What did Herod tell the wise men he wanted to do with Jesus? Give him gifts. Worship him. Kill him. Meet him. The answer is Worship him. Matthew chapter 2, verses 7 to 8. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. Question 8. Who appeared at Jesus' transfiguration? Moses and Elijah, Moses and Elisha, Abraham and Elisha, Moses and Ezekiel. The answer is Moses and Elijah. Mark chapter 9, verse 4. There he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Question 9. Whom did Paul study under? Jesus. Peter. Gamaliel. Zebedee. The answer is Gamaliel. Acts chapter 22, verse 3. Then Paul said, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus of Cilicia, but brought up in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. I was just as zealous for God as any of you are today. Question 10. Who was Paul's first convert to Christ in Asia? Eponetus, Narcissus, Apelles, Aristobulus. The answer is Eponetus. Romans chapter 16, verse 5. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus. They risk their lives for me. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Greet also the church that meets at their house. Greet my dear friend Eponidas, who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Question 11. First John mentions which Old Testament figure Cain, Abel, Moses, Jacob. The answer is Cain. 1 John chapter 3, verse 12. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil, and his brothers were righteous. Question 12. 
What was extraordinary about the man with the evil spirit who lived among the tombs? He spoke many languages. He was extremely strong. He was blind. He was deaf. The answer is, he was extremely strong. Mark chapter 5, verse 4. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Question 13. Name the lawyer mentioned in the book of Titus. Artemis. Zenus, Apollos, Erastus. The answer is Zenus. Titus chapter 3, verse 13. As soon as I send Artemis or Tychicus to you, do your best to come to me at Nicopolis, because I have decided to winter there. Do everything you can to help Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on their way, and see that they have everything they need. Question 14. What did the governor of Damascus try to do to Paul? Stone him. Kill him. Hang him. Apprehend him. The answer is, apprehend him. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. In Damascus, the governor under King Aretas had the city of the Damascenes guarded in order to arrest me, but I was lowered in a basket from a window in the wall and slipped through his hands. Question 15. Who did Paul send to help the Corinthians? Titus Apollos Jude Timothy The answer is Timothy 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 16 to 17 Therefore I urge you to imitate me. For this reason I have sent to you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.